So what we're here to talk about today is Design Spark Mechanical and how that enables the electronic engineer to design around their parts, around their models, very quick, very easily. And a lot of times they'll start with certain files that they bring in, such as an ECAD file from Design Spark PCB. If we open this up, we see the file, we can rotate it, we can move it around. But the key thing that we're providing with Design Spark Mechanical are easy tools to design in 3D. And that's the key thing we've done here. Make it really easy to make and sketch and create 3D models without having to be a 3D expert. So everything is select to change and modify designs. For example, if we're making an enclosure around this model, we can instantly start pulling to resize and shape and work with the geometry that we're selecting on. And that's the key thing. Users won't take weeks and months learning the tool because everything is select and modify. And what this also enables you to do is get more input from different people. You can make your enclosure as the electronics designer engineer, but you can talk to people in marketing and say, you know what, that is really too boxy. We want to make a few changes or suggestions. Maybe could you make it a little bit thinner? Maybe decrease it by a little bit? Or maybe they decide that, you know what, they want to have it flare out. So you can start to angle faces just by selecting them to change them and modify them. And you can get a good feel for the design in real time. Because this is the key thing, and this is the thing with the, using a direct modeling technology rather than a feature-based modeling. It's very forgiving. Select on what you want to change and make the edits, because that's what Design Spark Mechanical is built for making fast changes, making fast edits during the prototype stage. And the benefit of this is that you can try out so many more designs when you can easily change, tweak, and edit them without any consequence of having a model blow up, as is uh, the case a lot of times in traditional CAD. So now that we have this model, let's actually take a look at just half of the design so we can see inside of it. Again, great tools for making any changes or tweaks to the model whenever you want to. Easily remove material by shelling it out to a desired thickness and start to get in there and get your hands dirty. And so after we've talked to the marketing team, they think they like this design, they like how it looks. I mean, we might need to make some changes to the board file based on this, but also you can use precision in Design Spark Mechanical. You can add dimensions at any time to your design to use this to drive the model, drive its size, drive its shape. You can talk to an engineering manager and say, you know what, actually based on some of these dimensions we might want to make some more changes. We actually might want to change the length of this because it may be a standard size is closer to 60 millimeters. Maybe you want to type it in in inches. You can use whatever units you like as you make these changes. Or in fact, maybe we want to make this a little bit wider because in order to account for our space, we need to make the board a little bit wider on the design. Select, change, modify faces without needing to know how they're originally created. And again, this is going to enable you to pass designs to anyone else in an organization. Any supplier or vendors can make these same modifications to your parts. And now you can start to interact with uh, Design Spark PCB by bringing in a new component, a new IDF file to use in your design. This is the key thing that we're doing is we're enabling engineers to use 3D very quickly, very easily, without needing to be an expert in design. And the other thing that we've enabled with this tool is the ability to quickly grab online libraries of parts. So for instance, you can go online and you have full access to RS components and Allied Electronics components on TracePart's online library. So you can start to search for different components you might want to use in your assembly, whether you're doing machine design, whether you're doing panel design, whether you're designing around an IDF file. You can go, search for the components you want, and quickly bring them into your design. Because oftentimes what we've seen, again, we've talked to a lot of uh, engineers in the building of this product, and they'll typically spend two hours to two days actually modeling components in a design that they want to represent. 
Now, with this combination of tools, you can download a part, bring it into your assembly very quickly. You can, it'll take minutes, what took hours and days, to start to bring in and start to reuse components that are there. In fact, you can bring in components in a variety of different file formats, such as SketchUp or Step or STL as well, and start to use this to bring them in and position them inside your design. Because again, a lot of times when you're trying to bid on jobs, bid on models, you want to add some realism to your design. One thing, but also, if you have a block on your IDF file representing the component, a lot of times the actual component looks a lot different. It could have a different shape, could have a different size. So it's oftentimes good when you're doing the mechanical design portion to bring in these actual components that you're going to use. Because it also helps, because now if you wanted to bring in your design or take a look at it, you can visually see it in 3D, you can view it in a 2D cross-section, and you can actually use this to help make edits to your component and model. Whether you're positioning components in a design precisely in 3D or 2D, or whether you're actually hoping to create your openings on the model by slicing this with the parts you're bringing in from scratch. Again, anytime you can reuse data, work with designs on models and components, it makes it that much faster to change and manipulate your geometry. So with that, let's actually take a little fast forward. I'm going to bring in a part that was actually completed a little bit farther. So I'm going to open this up, and again, I'm just opening it up in the RS file format. But I actually gave this to one of our engineers and said, hey, go nuts. Finish this design as much as you want to. And this actually took him, I think, two or three hours to actually complete. And this is what you can do with a tool like this. You can start to make components as detailed as you want. We can actually take a look at them individually, that's there. But the benefit of this, of having a tool like Design Spark Mechanical, is you can start to save off what you built as an STL file. With this, you can send it right to a 3D printer in order to create that model, create that design, and actually do physical testing for form, fit, or function. Or you can actually take the entire assembly, any part of the model, and actually save this as a 3D PDF file. So now that I've saved this as a 3D pile, 3D PDF file, now what you can actually do is you can actually take this and start to use it and actually send it to someone. Now you can send it to anyone that has a 3D PDF viewer, which is everyone that has Adobe. So now you can start to send and include these 3D models with any bid proposal you do. And this is one of the key things that we want it to enable. I mean, we have a lot of people that work in small to medium-sized businesses, and it's been hard for them to compete with larger companies. This will level the playing field, make it easy for anyone to make clean, accurate bids, and really impress people when they're trying to win new business. And last but not least, I mean, the key thing with this whole integration of the whole product is that we're able to go through, if I take a look at a part of our subassembly, we can take a look and actually create a fully detailed bill of materials that also includes all of our RS stock numbers that are there on the models, all of our manufacturing information. All of this is downloaded and included as information in the files that we're getting from RS components. And what that lets us do is it lets us close the loop one of the biggest pains and challenges with engineers is just trying to get and order all these components and if they have to source them from different companies, different areas, it just gives them such a headache. Now what we've done is let them go and bring all of their components, all of their parts into one clean interface that they can choose which parts they want, spits it all out, and can quickly add them to an order pad so you can get these parts quickly, easily, pain-free. So I hope you've seen a little bit of what Design Spark Mechanical t can do in enabling people to work with parts from any location, like Step, SketchUp, STL files, build around components to design your models, and also quickly order them from the Allied Electronics and RS Components web pages. Any questions?